Many of us here have had the pleasure of watching these two grow into adults right here at Lake Almanor. Austin camped at Pine Cone for years as a child and Courtney right here at Big Cove. It has brought so many families together and established lifelong friendships. 26 years ago, God gave us a beautiful little girl. And this day was the furthest thing from our minds. But here we are on the happiest day of our lives. We have enjoyed watching you grow and develop into a wonderful person. Your mother and I are so proud of you and the woman that you become. Courtney, I stand here today as the most blessed man in the world. You are the most beautiful, ambitious, and compassionate woman I've ever met. You showed me what it means to truly love each other unconditionally. With you, Courtney, I feel appreciated, respected, and loved. About three and a half years ago, I met Austin. At first, I was skeptical of letting someone new into our family, but that changed quickly because from the beginning, he just fit. Austin stepped up without question and tagged along to all the festivities that night. I never really told him how much it meant to me that he was there when none of my family could make it. Austin, I feel so blessed that God has brought us together to unite in love and commitment. In you, I have found everything I could ever ask for and more. You are as patient as you are kind. Marriage is a sacred institution created by God. Matthew 19.5 states, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. I vow to be by your side through the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. I vow to always be your driver so you can fall asleep in the passenger seat on every drive. I vow to be the best father to our future children and the best husband to you, my beautiful almost wife, Courtney. <laughs> I love you. I vow to respect and honor you in our marriage every single day. I vow to support and encourage you in all of your dreams, and that includes the 1959 Ford in our town. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to be the best mother I can be, as I have no doubt you will be the most amazing father. Most importantly, I vow to love you wholeheartedly for the rest of my days. I'm so honored to be your wife, and I love you. Do you, Austin, take Courtney to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live? I do. You may kiss the bride. Very knowledgeable. He never expects anything in return. He'll help you on projects or pick you up from the airport or fix your CV axles. It truly makes me happy that you found the perfect person to spend the rest of your life with. And I hope that when I find myself back in Reno and you guys aren't travel nursing, we can share a beer on a random Tuesday, tackle house projects together, and like I brought up earlier, help me with car issues, CV axles. I've gotten to know you over the years and I'm happy you fell in love with my best friend. I'm appreciative that you love him even at his oldest moments, putting the mortgage on like a hand of blackjack or something like that. Your husband, I'm happy to say now, has always spoken highly of you and your wonderful family.
talked about this day forever and I can't believe it's finally here. She knows how to heal my heart and make me feel whole again. And lastly, when I was little and I would ask her to tell me a bedtime story, she always knew that meant telling me the story of the day that I was born. To Austin and Courtney, thank you for taking me in on the weekends. I want to stay with you in Reno and always making me feel welcome to squeeze in on your tiny couch with the two of you and play our Guess the Song game. <laughs> Let's raise a toast for the woods. May your marriage be blessed with love, happiness, goats, and babies. <laughs>